Hey, yo, T-G-I-F, it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday, finally. No, I did not mispronounce that. I call Fridays Fridays because I'm so happy that they're finally here. It's like, let my people go. Uh, it's, it's like a liberation every week. So, because I love Friday so much, um, we're going to do a special thing every Friday called Freaky Friday. And these are things that I've heard or read or seen um, about um, all kinds of stuff throughout the week that have freaked me out. Or just, you know, little known facts that I want to share with you. Um, I watch a lot of those investigation channels or those discovery channels, actually. Um, my favorite is Investigation Discovery. And at this point, I've watched so much Investigation Discovery that I swear to you, I could work for, you know, FBI, CIA, Interpol, Secret Service, Scotland Yard, you name it, I'm your girl. Um, I I'm totally into it. Um, one thing I don't ever miss, even though I hate ocean critters, <laughs> is Shark Week on Discovery Channel every summer. And people always say to me, why do you watch that if you hate them so bad? And I'm like, I love the beach. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. I love the beach, but I hate sharks. Hate them. Hate them. I, you know, the one thing that bothers me about the Discovery Channel too is they've got all these, you know, back to nature folks that are like, oh, let's conserve them. Let's not hunt them. Oh, but they're the apex predator of the food chain and we need them. We need them so that life goes on. We do not need them. Okay. Um, there was a reason that, uh, Chief Brody and Quint and, um, what was his name? The other guy, uh, Richard Dreyfus. They're, that the reason that they went out there on the ocean and risked life and limb and, and only two of them came back um, because they had to get rid of that big, badass, awful, great white shark, Carcarian, Carcarius, or whatever they call it. But anyways, so um, these are going to be some little known facts that maybe you don't know that you can share with your friends. My hair is all in my face. I've got to get it cut. I, that's why I'm wearing my Nashville Predators hat. I have a friend who lives in Nashville and they sent me this hat and I love it. Um, Smashville. Uh, anyway, so, uh, first factoid of Freaky Friday. This one blew my mind. Even though Fruit Loops are different colors, they all have exactly the same flavor. I'm going to try that out this weekend because I don't believe that. I'm pretty sure that those, um, the green ones really are more limey. I, I won't swear to it, but this, this is a fact. And if it blows your mind, you're not alone. But, um, think about that. Cause you know, when you're little, you're like, oh, I want these color. I want the red ones. I want, you know, you're picking them out and your mom's like, eat them all. They're all the same. And you're like, ma, they're not. But they are. Ma was right. She's always right. Okay. Um, second, tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur. The stripes are like our fingerprints. They're very unique to the tiger and no two tigers are the same. Now, I did not look further to see if that meant that twin tigers have twin stripes because I, I didn't want to get all technical like that, but I thought that was pretty cool. Like, you know, God was really busy with the animals and making everything so unique. Um, we should take that into perspective, but you, you know, you don't think of anything but the, the fur being striped, but it's not, it's the skin. Crazy. I know. Okay. Oh, this one's, this one's important for all you self-righteous folks out there. You are three times more likely to get a virus on your computer from a religious website than from a porn website. Yeah, it's a true story. That is a fact. That's crazy. That's crazy, though. I wonder if that um, includes that Joel Olstein. I'm thinking so. Anyways, um, so that was pretty interesting to me. So you guys with your, your porn websites might be safer than these little, you know, self-righteous Sadducees and Pharisees out here. I'm just saying. Okay, um, the, the, the next to last is that a donkey will, will sink in quicksand 
but a mule will not. And the difference between a mule and a donkey is that a donkey is a domesticated member of the horse family. And um, to get a mule, you have to crossbreed a donkey. I'm sorry. You have to, um, a mule is produced when you breed a male donkey, which is called a jack ass, to a female horse or a mare. Okay, the biological reciprocal of that is a of a mule is a hiney. So you a hiney, and that's when you have a male stallion crossbred with a female donkey, which is known as a jinny. So um, if you have a donkey and you are in quicksand, you're screwed. <laughs> but if you have a mule, you're good to go because they are not gonna sink. Now the final. Um, really cool factoid I learned this week is that Queen Elizabeth II has a lot of stuff going on. She is so cool. I love her. Um, and we're going to talk about her a lot because I'm, I'm intrigued with the royal family. But Queen Elizabeth II's handbag that she's always carrying, her little granny bag there, is a body language communication device. It is um, used by the queen to relay secret and silent messages to her staff. For example, if she is finished speaking to a guest, she will swiftly um, switch, no, not swiftly, she will just switch, her, switch the purse on which arm it's on, and then her staff politely ends the conversation and, and exits her out. So she doesn't have to be ruled. They're ruled for her. But if she wants to, um, you know, in the conversation, like, abruptly, like, drop the mic, Queenie E, dropping the mic on you, um, she will drop that handbag on the ground, and they're like, get the hell out of here, you know, off with your heads, the queen is done with you today. So, you think she's just carrying that little thing around with whatever, her vitamins and her pills and all that, but she's not. She's, she's communicating with it. And that's, that's this hair that, that is so important. Um, and I thought that was really, really cool. So those are my freaky Fridays for today. And I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will see you, um, hopefully tomorrow and Sunday. Cause you know, tomorrow is, um, keeping current. Um, and then Sunday is seriously Sunday. So I, I, I can't wait to see you guys back. Um, I hope you enjoyed these fact toys. Go do something with them, um, and we'll have more next Friday. Bye!